Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss the proof of the quadratic formula. Well, I'll write down that formula. This is, if you have an equation like this, plus c equals 0, then to solve for x you would apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to negative b, negative b plus or minus, so you're going to have two x's, square root b squared minus 4 times AC all divided by 2A so you're gonna have 2, you got a 1 plus and then you're gonna have a minus so to solve this we first make this in the form that we've known before in my video on how to complete the square because we're gonna do that soon so just divide out A we'll, we'll just divide by A, divide by A here and whatnot okay so we'll get X squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero. Zero divided by a is zero. So anyways, now we gotta complete the square. We gotta get this, move the two x's, make it only one. That's the completing the square. And we do that with this formula I've, that I've proven in my earlier videos. Oops. Complete the square formula. If you have, this is, if you have x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared, then you're going to get x plus b over 2. So that is the, the complete square. And I'll sh I've shown it before. You can see it if you want. So now we will, in this case, b over a is b. Is b. So, so to do that, and then we need to get this this variable here. So what we would have to do here is x plus. We would add. So we would add b over a divided by two. Just make it like that, all squared, and subtract. So we're not really doing anything. This is just to change how it looks. So we have to subtract that. And then we add our last variable. So, so now this is in the form of this. And we can just write that down as x plus b over 2 all squared. So we just complete the square of that. So we've completed the square, but then we also have this, this thing there. So b over 2a squared plus c over a. Zero. So now we can actually solve for x and we'll get the quadratic formula. So we move this over to the other side. So we'll get x plus b over 2 squared equals, this goes there, becomes negative, this and positive this becomes negative. So we'll get b over 2a squared minus ca. So that's what it equals. We can simplify this. This equals to b squared over, we'll just go with 2a squared minus ca. So now we can square root this entire side, square root both sides. So we'll go like this, and we'll go with this one. So we will get x plus b over 2 equals whenever you square root you have to do plus or minus because the inside could be negative or positive and get the same number so you will get plus or minus b squared over 2 c a I will explain this later in another video why it's that so now um, I forgot here. This is a b. This is b over a. This is b over a. Just apologize, but there's a small error. Okay, so now we can solve for x. X equals. We'll just take it on the side. Negative b over two a, plus or minus. Depend. Yeah, plus or minus. So that's you'll get two x's b squared over 2a squared minus c over a. 
All right, now to make it in the form of that, this is the quadratic formula, but this is just written differently. So if I times a on this side, times two over a, and two over a, divided by two over a, we will get negative b plus or minus b over a, because when we had the same denominator over, um, oh sorry, this is two a. 2a all divided by 2a <coughs> and this is squared b squared over 2 over 2a squared minus c over a and now here's a side note what what happens here whenever you have Let's say 2a. This also equals to square root of 2a squared. So I'm not really doing anything. I mean, this is just to get it inside the squared so I can cancel these out. So if I do that, I will get <laughs> negative b plus or minus b squared minus. 2a squared times c over a. Uh, this cancels. I want to bring it in because it's a become you. We bring in the 2a squared. This is all divided by 2a. So now this is a squared. The a, one a, one of the a cancels. This cancels. This cancels. We'll get four. So two squared is four. A squared divided by a is a. It's four a. So now we get the quadratic formula, which equals. Then we'll get x equals negative b plus or minus square root minus 4ac all divided by 2a. All right, so there's proof of uh, quadratic formula. Tune in next time for another math easy solution.